the markers have been here for years about the impact of cyber. This is not new news. And what's so interesting about solar winds, I mean, Brad just described it brilliantly, Perfect. was yeah. not only that they found backdoors and vulnerabilities in our in the way we upgrade uh, our, our systems in the U.S., but they actually did this from the U.S. And they found backdoors in our laws, our system of laws. And the way we are organized, and this is still true after 9-11, is that we have one set of laws, basically, uh, for Americans in America and a constitution that offers protections. And then we have a different set of laws and agencies that focus on foreign entities and foreigners trying to uh, do bad things to Americans, uh, either abroad or here. And they hit it perfectly by renting servers in the U.S. And we were very unprepared. So now what? Uh, an executive order is a good idea, but it's not enough. We can't have the government run by executive order. We have a constitution with uh, three articles. The first one is the legislature, the Congress, which is supposed to enact the laws and provide the funds. The second one is the Second article is the executive branch, which carries out the laws. We haven't seen that all the time. And the third is the federal judiciary. Uh, an executive order is, is the tool of choice in the last three presidencies because Congress has been so difficult, think, uh, it, it, impotent, think, dysfunctional, uh, and doesn't do much. And this executive order uses tools that President Biden has. Uh, yes, he could say, and he did, uh, that that uh, uh, private firms that have business with the government must immediately report. Well, yeah, let's do that. But what if they don't have uh, business with the government? Don't we want the private sector in the same game? And don't we understand, Brad just said this, that there are so many attacks and so much vulnerability uh, outside the government that if you put the little pieces together, you're going to build a puzzle, a puzzle that's alarming. And that then we would think... Uh, would bring in uh, the full weight of government.